What is going on everybody? This is Mason. You are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pop. Guys, thank you for tuning into the channel. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Today is Tuesday, so yeah, it is another edition of Top 5 Tuesday. We're gonna switch things up a little bit and do a challenge video. This is something that I thought of the other day that I think that would make a very awesome video. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out and see how this challenge video works. So what we're doing for this video is the rainbow Funko Pop Challenge, or in other words, the Roy G. Biv Challenge. So basically, it is it's pretty straightforward as you would imagine. It is basically matching the Funko Pops that you have with the colors of the rainbow. Um, so the rules to this game are basically listing off all the colors of the rainbow. I added three other colors as well. So basically all the colors of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then the three colors of white, black, and brown. I added that, so a total of 10 colors. Um, is what I came up with. So, and basically the rules are of this, if the pop is about three-fourths or somewhere close to that color, of that certain color, the rainbow, that's basically what it is, what qualifies for it being that color. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into the challenge. Okay, so starting off with the color red. So I went ahead and did a Disney pop with this one and it is the red glow in the dark Jafar. I think this one is, is gotta be red because you know, it even, it even says red in the name, so I think it qualifies pretty good for my red pop. I have the red glow-in-the-dark Chase Jafar. All right, and then for the next color that we have is orange. So for orange, I went ahead and went with a Marvel Pop, and this one is Surtur from Thor Ragnarok, the GameStop exclusive. Definitely a very orange pop. If you've seen the movie, the guy is basically like completely orange. He's made out of fire. So I thought this pop went really well with the color orange. And yeah, for my orange pop, I went ahead with the Surtur GameStop exclusive. All right, guys, and then the next color we've got here is yellow. So we've got red, orange, and then yellow. Um, I went ahead and did a Stranger Things pop with this one. I'd say the majority of this one is yellow, and it is the hopper in the biohazard suit. Basically, the, the whole part of this pop is the biohazard suit, which is yellow. But I thought this would make just a really cool one for the yellow colored pop. So coming in for yellow, biohazard suit hopper. All right, we got three colors down, about seven to go. We are at the color green. Going for color green, we went with a Disney pop. It is a vaulted pop, actually. And for this one, we did Rex. I think this one is a really cool green pop, in my opinion. I, I'm a huge fan of Toy Story, and I this was actually one of the first ones that came to mind when I was thinking of the color green. Definitely a really cool pop, but I decided to go with the Rex from Toy Story for the color green. All right guys, and then on to the next color, we are down to blue. Blue, I went with the Marvel Pop in this one, and it is the blue Hot Topic exclusive Venom Pop. Really cool, this was probably one of the first ones that came to mind when I thought of the color blue, and it honestly, I think, was one of the only blue pops that I actually own. So this one was kind of a struggle for me. It's probably not a struggle for a lot of people with a lot of different pops, but this one was one that came to mind for me. And for the color blue, went with the Hot Topic Venom. All right guys, and then coming for the next one, which would be Indigo. I kind of made a little bit of different rules for Indigo. Indigo is kind of more of a, like a light purple. So if you can't really find anything light purple, go with like the color pink as well for this challenge. And so I did it that way. Um, I ended up going with another Toy Story pop, which is vaulted as well, and it is Ham. The, the piggy bank, um, this one's really cool. But like I said, this was kind of one that came to mind for that indigo-ish color, even though pink's not really indigo, but it's it's really similar to purple, so I, I figured it would be enough contrast with this one. Definitely a really cool pop, and coming in at the color indigo, or pink, is ham. Okay guys, and then coming in for the next color for violet, which is a very, very dark purple, I decided to go with the Chrome Thanos. I thought this one, honestly, 100% of the pop is the color violet, so I thought it was pretty good for this color choice. Um, so purple Thanos, violet Thanos. This was honestly the first one that came to mind for the color violet and it's a really awesome pop. So coming in for this color is the purple chrome Thanos. All right guys, and then we're done with the rainbow basically. Um, and I wanted to go into the bonus colors, which are white, black, and brown. Coming in for the color white is the Funko Shop exclusive Trix Rabbit. 
This was one of the first ones that came to mind for a white pop. Another one that I have up there is the Target Dog. I thought that one would have been a really cool one for white as well. But I believe the majority of this pop is the color white. It comes in at the color white, the Trix Rabbit. Okay, we're down to the final two. Um, coming in at the color black, it is the classic um, comic book Black Panther. I believe this is the first edition Black Panther, if I'm not mistaken. Really awesome pop. Yeah, coming in at this color is the classic Black Panther. All right, guys, and we are down to the last color. This one was kind of a little bit of a stretch. I don't know. I, I believe he's more brown in the show. It's another Stranger Things pop, and it is the Chase Dart. It kind of looks purple in here, but I believe it's more brown, really, than purple. So maybe I made an exception to the rule on this one. But yeah, coming in at the color brown is Dart. Really awesome chase. I think the common's probably a little bit cooler than the chase, but nonetheless, I really like this pop. Really doesn't look anything like a Funko Pop in my opinion. It's really small, but it qualified for the last color of the Rainbow Funko Pop Challenge, and it is the Chase Stranger Things Dark Pop. All right, guys, so we completed the challenge. We did every single one of the 10 colors that I listed out of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, white, black, and brown. Now, the time has come and I want to challenge a couple of fellow YouTubers to this challenge video. Two of the people that come to mind that I'd really like to see that I know have a good selection of pops is Funko Pop Central and the Bearded Pop Hunter. I'd like to challenge those two YouTubers to participate in the Rainbow Funko Pop Challenge. Everybody go ahead and alert the Bearded Pop Hunter and Funko Pop Central that they've been challenged. So get creative. Um, I'd love to see you also on Instagram as well if you'd like to post your Rainbow Funko Pops or if you'd like to make a video, let me know. Tag me in your videos, tag me in your photos on Instagram and let me know that you participated in the Rainbow Funko Pop Challenge. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and comment down below if you enjoyed it as well. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching again. Be sure to be kind to one another and always promote positivity. And I will see you in the next video.